Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to do an unclogging demonstration for the Creality CR10 Smart. So I'm starting out by removing the Bowden tube. As you can see, there was a broken piece of filament stuck in the Bowden tube because of the nozzle being clogged. I grabbed some pliers and I started to pull it out, but it was coming out very slowly and with a lot of difficulty. The extruder had pushed the... Oh, and there it snaps. The extruder had pushed the filament in so much that it started to curl and curled up into the Bowden tube. During that process, I was either assuming it was because of the curled filament or the Bowden tube needed to be changed. I found out my answer later. I struggled and struggled and finally pulled it out. This is the needle that came with the Creality CR10 Smart Toolkit. And I went ahead and I started trying to <laughs> stick it into the nozzle opening and as you can see here I used two fingers to try to get it in uh, and it was very <laughs> very difficult I only included in this video only small snippets of how long it took but it, it took me a fair amount of time to finally be able to get that needle in <laughs> into the nozzle opening Finally, I did manage to get it in, but the nozzle was clogged, so it wasn't going up, as you can see there. So I left the needle in there, grabbed myself a pair of pliers, and I started to push up as close to the nozzle as possible to not bend the needle. And it went up. Then once I saw that it was fairly clean, I pulled it out and wanted to do it again and just start kind of pushing it in and out, making sure that the nozzle has been cleaned out. Then I went ahead from the top and I started pushing it in and out from the top and this is where I noticed melted filament on the needle as I pulled it out. And again, I did the same thing by just pushing it in and out, but there's the melted filament. And I didn't want to just stick that back in there. So I grabbed a pair of pliers and the cutters that the Creality CR10 Smart came with, and I just pulled it off with the cutters. Then I went ahead and stuck the filament in the filament runout detector to try to get it through the extruder. And my goal with this was to see if there was any other points in which it was being clogged or creating a kink in the steps of getting the filament into the nozzle. And this particular filament was semi-brittle and took the form of the roll of filament and later I found out that it snapped because this filament specifically was too brittle and it was a combination of problems such as the nozzle being clogged as well. Then I noticed that the blue clip that goes on the Bowden tube was off, which means that that might be a reason why the filament wasn't being pushed through. So I put the blue clip back on and I started to push the filament through, opening and closing the lock for the extruder, as I've shown in the previous video, and still it wouldn't go through. So I thought maybe it was the curling because I've taken apart the extruder and I see that it goes into this tiny little tube so it has to be really straight. So I straightened out the filament and stuck it through again. But it was still having some issues, so I straightened it out some more. And stuck it in the extruder, opening and closing the lock the extruder and still it wouldn't go through. So I decided to cut the tip really sharp, straighten it out and try again. And this is pretty run of the mill with the Creality CR10 Smart. At least my experience with it when loading filament. Finally it went through, success! So I stuck it in through the filament runout detector and the extruder and through to the nozzle and I saw that it was unclogged and pushing filament out of the nozzle. With 
that, I grabbed the cutters, made a sharp tip once again, and pulled out the filament. So I wanted to make sure that the Bowden tube didn't need to be replaced, so I stuck some filament through the Bowden tube to see if there was any kinks in there or any jamming being caused, and there wasn't. It went in quite nicely and came out quite nicely. So I went ahead and I reinstalled the Bowden tube to both the nozzle and the extruder. I decided to give it one more cleaning with the needle because I realized I had extruded some filament out of there. And the most gunk I got onto the needle to clean it was through the top and not the actual nozzle opening. So I put in the blue clips to keep the Bowden tube in place. Give it a little wiggle to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. Stuck the filament through the filament runout detector, guided it into the extruder, opened the lock, messed with it a little bit, still didn't work. So I decided to straighten it out some more. And stuck it through once again, and this time, it went in nice and smooth. The nozzle was unclogged. And I gave it one little push to see if it extrudes. And it does.